all right welcome back so in this video i'm going to be going through details showing you how to create those pockets so basically uh, let me open up my drawing real quick i'm going to show you how to create these pockets so basically what i'll do is i'm going to create these inside walls all right and then i'm going to create the top surface i'm going to create a surface on top and and then delete it trim it from the rest of my area so that that will keep my walls all the way to my depth of the bottom geometry that i've created and I'll show you what I mean by that. So first, let's go ahead and click on shading uh, translucency toggle. This way you can see your bottom geometry. And let's go ahead and change our level and create a new level called triangle walls. And it's because we're creating walls. Now we're creating surface walls from the top geometry to the bottom geometry. And uh, let's go ahead and change the color as well for that to green, okay? And go ahead and select okay. Now come over here under create surface and we're going to create ruled lofted all right a uh, very important aspect now i'm going to zoom in over here and go over this some very important aspects of this to remember is that you need to be selecting the, around the same points from the top geometry to the bottom geometry now it doesn't matter which one's first whether it's a top or bottom you can't select a point here for example and then come back and select a point here they need to be equivalent same from the top to the bottom so that wall is nice and even all the way around so for example, if I select this right here and then come down here and select, select it from this side and they both need to be going the same direction, the chains. These are going opposite, of course. I'm going to click OK and you're going to notice that that wall is actually twisted. It's a little bit tough to see, but the lines for the walls are twisted. So that it's, the wall is not very smooth at all. There is no walls created on the inside, basically. So let me go ahead and select Escape, Control Z to undo. And go ahead and redo the same thing, but this time select the same point from the top to the bottom, select OK, and you'll see now the walls are very nice and even all the way through. See how nice they are? So you're going to basically do the same thing for all of them. And you need to make sure to click Apply every time you go from one to the other. It doesn't matter where in that triangle you're selecting, as long as you're selecting the same area from the top to the bottom. Even if it's on the fillet right here, as long as they're the same, that will create the wall very nice and smooth all the way across so there you go i'll go ahead and create those real fast Got about three more to do so one two all right i'll place this fit the screen whenever you can't get to the rest of the geometry so very simple stuff there you go and last but not least there you go all right all my walls look real nice that's exactly what I wanted. So go ahead and select OK to exit out of that. Fit the screen and isometric view so you can see it a little bit better. So now what I want to do is I basically want to take this surface and I want to cut these triangles from this surface so I can see my entire pocket all the way through. So to do that, come over here under Create, Surfaces, and select Trim. And you want to do Trim uh, to Surfaces, to Curves, I'm sorry, because you're doing the trims to the curves over here. There is no surface over here that we've created. We're creating curves. We're gonna be selecting the curves to be cut. So go ahead and select to curves. So first select the surface that is on the outside and hit enter. And now we'll ask you to select the chains or the geometry. Now go ahead and select all of them. So hold shift and make sure you select only the top geometry. Remember we're cutting the top geometry from the rest of it. All right, so there you go. I made a mistake and I selected that bottom one. You can do control Z or select it again by holding shift and selecting that geometry again. Just make sure you have it unselected. Now, as you can see, it's still selected a chain. So you don't need to make sure that it, it is unselected or come over here and unselect, all right? Or you can do also last and it will undo the last checking. Now for this one, let me go ahead and select escape because I've selected this multiple times. So last doesn't really count. So you can either do unselect all and it will unselect all of them but go ahead and select shift and make sure you select all the geometries sometimes what you'll notice is that i keep all my mistakes on here to make sure i show you how to fix them so these are all the top geometries okay not the, the bottom geometries only the ones that are on the surface and select okay now this is the trimming feature first you want to select make sure delete is selected you also want to make sure that normal to is selected, normal to this surface. And then you also have two options over here. You can either split the model, so two surfaces that you want to split, or you can keep multiple regions. Now, if you have this selected, this is grayed out. You can't use it. If you unselect this, it selects this on its own, and 
you can you're able to trim multiple surfaces and that's what we have we are trimming multiple surfaces so all you have to do is come back again over here and select the area you want to keep which is this surface right here and as you can see you'll see an arrow pointing down so all you do is select that area again and select apply all right now I'm gonna select escape real quick and then go back and select shading translucency so you can see your part better now remember we selected green as our walls and now you can see your walls very nice and smooth all right and you've cut your part just like it is in our drawing all the way down to the depth of the geometry so now you know why we've created a geometry a projection of it on this surface and one all the way down so we can uh, select the right depth and create a nice surface wall all around that all right so in our next video we're going to be creating the fillets all around our part